Welcome to part two of this beginner's tutorial for the Sparkle app. In this part, we're going to take the website we created for the desktop and add a mobile version. Fortunately or unfortunately, it is estimated that over 50% of website browsing is done through the phone. So it's not a bad idea to cater for those with better eyesight than ours. Not all designs adapt to a mobile version. So think carefully what you want your customers' first instincts of your site to be. I have my desktop version open on the home page. Here's a little trick if you have an iPhone, and I'm sorry, I don't know if it works on an Android phone, so my apologies if you have one of those. Attach your iPhone to your Mac with a USB-C to Lightning cable. Once it's connected, launch the QuickTime player, and from the file menu, select new movie recording and you'll see a new movie recording window will come up. You might get your FaceTime camera up, but don't worry about that. Now select your iPhone in the menu and you'll see it will appear on your screen. Now we're just going to resize it slightly because it's too big. And we'll shift it over to the right and come back to our Sparkle page. Now we'll resize the Sparkle page so we can see the phone. And while we're here, we'll just resize Safari in case we need to see anything on that. Okay, so that gives us a view of our Sparkle page. We can go back to it and our phone right next to it. Okay, so click on preview. Make sure the computers and mobile devices on the local network is selected and use your camera phone to scan the QR code and to open up your browser. And there we have a live view, albeit of the desktop version, which Sparkle very conveniently scales down for us to fit the iPhone. Now, as you can see, Sparkle has taken the page we've designed for the desktop and simply reduced it to fit across the phone screen. Not great as you have to pinch in and look around and it gets a bit boring to view a website like that. So at the top of the Sparkle interface are all your tools. And one of those tools is the device addition button. At the moment, our device is a PC set to 1200 pixels. Let's customize the device layouts. Now here you can see the different sizes you can set your pages to. Right at the bottom is the portrait smartphone setting we want. And on the right it says not present. We have some options here. Not published means you can work on the page, but it won't publish. This is great if you need to keep working on the design, but it's not ready for publication. The desktop version will still publish. Then you have custom layout. This allows you to work on a custom version of your layout, and that's what we'll be using. The last one is automatically scaled. Sparkle will do its best to fit the device you are working with. So we'll select custom layout. The green checkbox underneath is checked, so Sparkle keeps the font characteristics. However, you can change the size independently of the desktop version. Let's click on portrait smartphones. We now have a much smaller page and Sparkle has reduced the design down to fit. We'll start by increasing the page length so that we have some room to work with. Notice the footer has followed the page bottom as instructed in the desktop device. If you hit the command and plus keys on your keyboard, we can zoom in to see things a bit clearer. The first thing we should do is move everything out of the way of the header to give us some space to rework it. Keep checking your iPhone on the right. It gives you instant feedback on your phone. Now I'm going to increase the depth of the header and when I do that, I'm watching the phone for an update all, all the time 
and you can see that my image whilst aligned right is now tending to move across to the left of the phone. So I might need to rearrange all the other elements on the header. You can move things about freely and resize them. They are independent to the other devices. But remember, if you change colors or change the text, they change throughout each device. With the menu, you have some options. You can resize the menu to fit. Or if you are tight for space, use the hamburger menu. And you can do that by clicking on the right hand side in the inspector panel on the hamburger icon. Now, I'm not going to use that for this design, but it gives you a way of using your menus in a very different way. And it can save you a lot of space. But I have enough space for my four tabs. So I'm going to lay them out right across the page. Actually, what I'm going to do is I'm going to reduce the size a little bit. And I'm going to increase the space between the tabs. See that will do. And now I can stretch them across the page. Now, let's just up my phone's gone to sleep, so I'm just going to open it up again. And you can see it's it's fixed it here. Now, that doesn't look very nice to me, so I'm just going to reduce the size over to the right hand side of the phone. And it's still plenty big enough to tap on. And we'll just increase the font size. Now, if you increase the font size and tabs disappear. It means that it's too big to fit across the page. So with the menu selected at the top, you can see the two buttons that are missing are our gallery and services. So there's a little eye icon underneath, which you can switch back on. And I can't reduce that too much. So I'm going to make the font size 12 point. Then I can reduce the tab size very slightly so I know the next one will fit and that's the services one. There we go. So now we have all four. Now they are very difficult to read on a phone that that big. In fact I'm just going to increase the size of the background slightly again just so that we can get a bit more in there. I'm going to bring that down and that one down and we can increase the size of the logo again and maybe even increase the size for the call for appointment button we might center this text a little bit better but the menus are still quite difficult to read so i'm going to recolor them and if i just click on the menus at the moment the background is the fill is zero is naught percent so I'm going to turn that into a color. Now, because I've changed the color, that's going to change on the desktop version as well. So let's go and have a look at that on the desktop. And actually, that looks fine for me. So I'm happy with that. Let's go back to our portrait. And you can see, you just need to zoom back in. So that's basically our header done. And the phone needs to update, so we'll just pick up the phone again. Sorry, it's set to switch off after two minutes. So I'll just relaunch that. Now I've set my header and I can literally click on the tabs. They're much clearer for me to click on. In fact, I might even just make the tab slightly taller. There we go. Um, now we can just set out the middle bit and that's just a case of resizing everything to fit. So Rather than have text let's, uh, very small at the moment, that's four point text, I believe. Yes, it is. So we're going to put the title right across the page. Let's say 20 point. And I'll make my main bulk text uh, 14 point, maybe, maybe 12. Let's go down a tad. Actually, no, 14 is fine. 
and we'll just make sure that that all fits in on the page and you can see the phone updating as I do this. Then I'm going to just resize the image and again we can do that very simply like that and if I scroll up the image is there um, and then I'm just going to fast forward and, to, and do the next two sections. Okay, so we've adjusted the header and the middle section. The last thing we need to do is to increase the footer size so that we can actually make use of it. And here I'm just going to literally lift it up like this. I'm going to increase the font size to 14 point. You can see that all the um, links have stayed where they should. I'll bring that over to this side a little bit, increase that to 14 points. I'm doing this very quickly, so I'm not, you know, spending too much time on it. Let's just bring that one so it's on one line. And then I need a bit more space at the bottom of the page for the social media link. So we'll move that up. And then we can resize all of this. to um, 14 point and then we may want to increase the actual logo sizes don't forget their text so they can go up accordingly as well and there we've the, we've increased the footer size so that it's actually a usable um, a usable piece of the website space and we've got room to uh, click on everything that we need to. Now if we check out our desktop nothing has changed there apart from the color of the tabs which we knew we were doing. Everything else has remained in the same. So this is what Sparkle means by a custom layout. You literally have the elements on the page already you just have to redo them for the phone. And as you can see, it works perfectly well. We go to our second page. Now you'll notice that the header and the footer have resized automatically because they are set to appear on every page. So the bulk of that work is already done for you on every page. And it's then a case of just selecting the rest of the information that you want to recalibrate for the phone and just moving it temporarily out the way um, so you can carry on with your work. So we'll resize the first two images and I'll just check on the depth of that by going to the arrange menu and we'll make it 190 pixels and then we can do the same for that one. Check on the width, we've got 100. 30 and we'll make that 130 so we've got our two elements there identical we'll bring up our first layout block and we'll just move it down because we need to increase the font size select the text box realign it and go back to our style menu and type in 14 points now we haven't got enough space so we'll extend the layout block and the text block to that and then we can close it back up so that is our first text block done I'm going to extend the page length again so that we can drag this stuff out the way and we can move our second layout block to touch the first extend it extend the text, resize the text, 
align the text to the image above. Make sure it's the right width. Close the box up slightly so we can close the layout block. And I won't bother with these two images at the moment. We'll, we'll, we'll have a look at the phone. Let's just switch the phone back on. There are my two images. And if I tap on one, the name comes up and the text underneath it. If I tap on the other one, the name comes up and the text underneath it. And it's just basically rinse and repeat for all the images you've got to do. So you keep adding images and you keep adding your layout blocks. So that's how quick page two was done. And you can see on the phone, it's put all the images together. And if I click on that one, it opens up, pushes the rest down. If I click on that one, it does the same. I might want to increase the name size. You can do that. It won't affect the desktop version. Okay, so that page is done. Let's go to the, uh, the gallery page. And here again, the header and the footer are complete already. You don't need to worry about that. So what we're going to do is we're just going to extend it a little bit further because what Sparkle has very kindly done for us is just taken the grid and made it full width of the phone page. And you can see on the phone page now that all my images are there. If I want to see the full image, I can literally tap on the image and it will zoom in. It looks smaller because you're getting more image in. And if I tap the close button, it will zoom back out. Same for this, I want the whole image. Uh, let's just see if we can find another another one. So there again, it's zoomed out to give you the full image and close it and it just gives you the, the grid again. So everything is in place. I've done the third page already. Um, that's how quick it is and easy to resize everything. You know, I might want to close the footer up a little bit to meet the image. So there you have it. We've successfully adapted our site for the mobile phone. You can do the same for tablets if you think it's necessary and also for larger desktop screens. Make sure you check out all the Sparkle tutorials on the website or YouTube. In the meantime, thanks so much for watching and we'll see you in the next one.